Hey everyone, it's Renee and I'm here for some meal planning tips. It's something we always talk about in my challenge groups and since it's raining here I thought I'd give you a heads up on what I am doing this week and then some of the things that I will be sharing. And a lot of it is from the garden because it's in abundance and um, there's kids in abundance playing. And also the things on sale from the grocery store. So I'm combining the two and I've got my meal plan set for almost the entire week. Now for lunch today we are going to have um, there's some bacon that I will be trimming with my handy little, I don't know what it's called, but I love this thing. It is super sharp and it is great for trimming bacon. And what I'm going to do is make some um, quesadillas with them with some uh, white beans, bacon, and some farm fresh eggs that I got from my neighbor. They're so pretty. And some sauteed Swiss chard and some cheese. And now the kids probably won't dig the Swiss chard, so I will saute that and put it in ours. But what I'm going to do is not grill some of them so heavily and then freeze those individually for later so that they can be something for uh, my husband's lunch or something that we can grab this week tonight uh, during a weeknight on the go or they're just in the freezer and they work that way so that's pretty cool. For supper tonight we are having a sirloin tip roast which is um, locally raised and it's a really lean cut of meat and I have a really fun recipe that works fabulously every time for really great sandwich leftovers. And so um, it's one of these where you rub it with some mustard and um, spices and you insert the garlic cloves into the meat and it makes really awesome sandwiches. So the sandwiches will be another night and since we will have some reserved bacon, whenever I have bacon I always reserve a few pieces for something on sale, the cauliflower broccoli medley. And my family really does like broccoli cauliflower salad with a little bit of bacon crumbles in it and I reduce the fat and calories in that one by using some Greek yogurt. And the family actually digs it, so I'm good with that. So we'll have sandwiches based off the roast one night, and then I'll have a little bit of roast left over, I'm sure, for some stir fry. And I have a lot of stuff that I can throw in the stir fry from the garden. And my kids actually do eat stir fry. And again, because these um, broccoli cauliflower bags are on sale, I can use the broccoli in the stir fry because my kids really do like sauteed broccoli. I will also throw in some spiralized beets and the spiralized beets will also go in a side dish for my husband and me tonight with some feta cheese and some Kalamata olives. It's amazing. Kids won't eat that so I'll probably bake some potatoes to go along as one of their sides. And then later this week with the leftover baked potatoes I'm going to use the on sale cauliflower to make some cauliflower potato mashed potatoes only they're not really mashed potatoes but don't tell them that. Um, to go with the protein, probably something that I can quick put in the oven. And then I'm also going to have this week, this is a spiralized, there are actually two carrots. I grew some colored carrots this year, which I'll make into an apple carrot slaw, which is kind of a sweeter honey poppy seed. And the kids do like that. I usually make them try something, and after they try it, okay, so there's sometimes some bribery, but hey, they try a lot of stuff. And so we'll have that either with the sandwiches one night or, um, I don't know, I've, I've got it all planned out here based on what I have here from my garden. And I have a lot of Swiss chard here, so that's going to be a salad for me during the week. So I will just kind of use up whatever I have for leftover protein. And I've got pretty much the whole week planned based off just getting it organized and getting it prepped. The spiralizer, you maybe don't have a spiralizer, it was 30 bucks on Amazon, I love it. But if you don't have one, you can just thinly slice things or, you know, forget that part. But the point is you have to cut your vegetables and get them washed and ready to go for the week. So, I've been in the kitchen a while. Um, I actually just got done making grape juice and I had never done that before. So, I was going to give myself a pat on the back and I'm like so sick of jars. And then I realized, wait, I am going to do a mason jar challenge because you can do anything with these jars. My son's got something growing out in one of them. So this week, pay, um, pay attention to some posts that you might see about a mason jar challenge and all the fun things that we can do there. So meal planning, it can happen, it can be cheap. So good luck for the week everybody. Have a great Labor Day weekend.